We have been having to look pretty heavily for it, I would say, for the last four or five months, but this last month it's just become impossible to find. Unfortunately for like me that I can't breastfeed my kids, I depend a lot on formula or else my kid can't eat. You would think it wouldn't be a problem to be able to feed your baby, but now it's really scary. Uh, how is this America? This is the United States of America. And as American mothers, like the ones you just heard from, they're, they're struggling to feed their children. We're sending billions and billions and billions to Eastern Europe. In the last hour, the House passed a bill to send another $40 billion to Ukraine in military and humanitarian aid. Is this even popular with the American people? Well, we took the streets to do our own little survey. Babies are coming first. Why not take care of the children? That doesn't make any sense. I think the government needs to do more than that. They need to really think about America and put money on the side for our means first. Take care of ourselves, then we can take care of the rest of the world. I'm very sensitive to the people who are losing their lives. I'm very sensitive to the fact that people are dying unnecessarily. However, we have the same problems here in the United States. I don't see any of these issues being addressed here in our own country. There's still homelessness here. There's still unemployment here. Inflation screwing every working class person, especially young people. What do you do if you can't find formula? My daughter breastfeeds, but if you can't find a formula, what do you give your new grandson? I don't know what the appropriate amount of money to send to Ukraine is, but I think we need to take care of business at home at the same time. It's a lot going on in America, so it's like, why are we worried about overseas? And that's all I got to say on that one. Joining me now is Jim Jordan, ranking member of the House Judiciary Committee, who voted against this massive appropriation. Congressman, uh, do your fellow lawmakers realize uh, that to the average American who is freaking out right now about issues like baby formula, uh, that, that they're not in sync with what they would like Congress to be doing right now? Well, I think that what the, the man on the street and the folks you were talking to, they, they get it. I mean, think about your typical family out there. We got a 41-year high inflation rate. Everything costs more for the for the moms and dads and families. Across. If rent costs more, gas costs more, clothes cost more, food costs more. Oh, we know that. More. If you got a newborn, as what's you Congress about, doing? If you got a newborn. Well, what's Congress well, doing? I mean, you guys are sending forty billion dollars over to yeah. Ukraine. I mean, it's a horrible situation. What is happening in Ukraine? American weakness helped create that. I understand. And Europe helped. But yep. This is just, this is a, you know, if you thought the Ukraine money dump, people think it was a Democrat-led led initiative, Congressman. Everyone has to think again. Watch this. I think we all agree the most important thing going on in the world right now is the war in Ukraine. I had a chance to call the president last week and request that the Ukraine package move by itself and quickly. Congressman, meanwhile, we still have an open border, gang wars on our streets, right. you know, right. homelessness uh, two blocks look, from where we're doing the show right look, now. Look, 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 Laura, I understand people's intentions. I understand how bad the situation is for the Ukrainian people, what they're going through and why some of my colleagues may have went that way. But I also understand what's happening here in this country with record levels of crime, a border that's wide open, attorney general who tweets the very, treats the very moms and dads you were talking to as if they were domestic terrorists. And what have the Democrats done in the last two weeks? Last week, they, they give us the disinformation governance board and, and come after our First Amendment liberties. And this week, they spend $40 billion on a foreign country. So that's the concern that I have. And I think so many Americans have. I I voted for all kinds of help for Ukraine thus far, but this bill, we said, no, look, we got to focus on the issues that count here in America that matter to American families and also help Ukraine, but do it in a way that makes more sense than I think this piece of legislation did, uh, particularly with the fact that we only had a few hours to look at it, for goodness sake. It is sake, insane. Uh, is another reason we should have been against it. It is insane. And at the same time, we're taking the tariffs off of the Chinese goods coming into the country, which means we're helping the country that's giving money to Russia. By dumping yep. the tariffs, Trump's tariffs. So figure out That's how that makes any sense. That's why we need President Trump back. That's why we need President Trump back. I mean, all the good things he did. Uh, we would not be in this situation if, 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 if uh, President Trump were still in the office, uh, in the Oval Office. And I think all your viewers know that. Uh, well, Congressman, great to see you tonight. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.